Yo! What is going on, guys? So I'm trying out this new deck that I just built last night, and I dubbed it Ancient Souls. So it's a little bit of a graveyard-themed deck. And what we have is Ancient's Rise combined with Jar of Souls. Hence the name Ancient Souls. So it's pretty cool. You know, I, I think the uh, the rank system where they have the ranks, the deck ranks, they should allow you to name the decks and it should allow you, it should show you who the first person, you know, first spotted by, like who created it or something, or who got the first win with it, something like that. I don't know. Because right now it has the decks listed, but it has who does the best with that deck. So you might have created and designed that deck. Well, you know, design have you? I don't know how much credit can you get for that. But still, if you're not the best with it or don't have the most wins with it, you will not show up. So I guess it's all results, man. All results oriented. But, you know, what about the dudes that are freaking uh, brewers? What about the brew dudes? Dudes that like to brew and just create decks. But we suck at playing. You know what I'm saying? All right, so Crystal is awkward, man. Crystal is fucking awkward, dude. I guess I'm forced to play my mana vial here. That's what Crystal does to me. Crystal man. Yeah. All right, so we got Gus, dude. The new and improved Gus. Look, he's got a little Pikachu. There's some shit with him. Pikachu. All right, is this dude Toxic Spot even here? Come on, Toxic Spot. You're fucking up my video, bro. Wake your ass up, dude. Come on, bro. This is the debut of Ancient Souls. Ancient Souls. So basically, Jar of Souls is some of your top three dead units as 1-1 one, one Lifesteal Wither, and Ancient's Rise is some of your bottom three dead units. So they're not 1-1 one, one Lifesteal Withers. They're just dudes. They're full selves. All right, so Toxic Spot, we are still going to make this video even if you're not here because we want to see how this deck runs. We're going to beat that ass. Yeah, we're gonna show me. Two, we got Whip Vine. Yo, you know, I, I reduced my curve too, man, because a lot of. Hey, we're just gonna beat down with banner units. Banner! Put up the banner. Put up my team banner, baby. Team Spirit. The decks that I build, man, it's like I don't know really how to find a good curve. I wanna make that nice shape, and it, it leads me to like the three mana. It's where I want like a bulk of my spells. But I don't know, the game goes long. And I think cards like this, cards like the Giza, Jizz, Jizz. Cards like this are good because they give you that early game pressure, but then when they die, you get to draw your most expensive unit. So it's kind of, even if you draw the Jizz Cat, later in the game, you're still not mad. You're still not mad unless it gets dusted. But you're really not mad because you can just draw. You can, you can freaking kamikaze the dude into somebody. All right, so this is not going to be a competitive game. It's going to be an informative game. I'm just curious how this, this unfolds. Is it going to unfold good? No, because none of my dudes are going to die. But these dudes in a real game probably would be dying. And I would probably get my Jar of Souls to get a bunch of these dudes back. We're just gonna fill the board, man. We're just gonna beat. You know, sometimes you just gotta beat on dudes. It feels good just to smash. I'm just gonna smash face on this dude. We're gonna smash. All right, Toxic Spot. Is he dead next turn? One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He is not dead. Son of a bitch. Wake up, bruh. It's time to rest. Ancients rise, that is. 
Now right, we'll see if we can get another game after this though. If this dude doesn't uh wake the fuck up. Get your ass up, bro. Don't be joining the queue. You ain't gonna play. Well, he is toxic, so I don't know. But definitely digging the art, dude. The new Gus is the shit. The new Gus. Never change, Gus. He's the shit, dude. He's got the mechanical wings. Oh, toxic spot. He's here. I'm just going to see if I can go to turn four, do nothing, and still win. Nah, bro, you ain't doing shit. All right, he's got a two man. Am I going to kill my guys if I do that? Yep, I got a zero. All right, so I guess I could draw. Uh, I guess I just beat on this dude. Put the beats on him. Put the beats on him. And smash. And just fill my board up. Six. I got them all. Next time we can play Doom Shroom. If he plays a unit with an attachment, I can kamikaze my whip vine, give him roots, take care of that shit. Unless it's Ent Mask. All right, Brimstone, that's game. Okay, well, hey, that's not game. Because he's got a big dog, the Rebel Devil. So what do we do? How can we kill this guy? Three, four, five. And then one, two, five, six, seven. How about kill all the expensive units? Is that an option here? To kill all the expensive units? All right, so I think we just punch him down one. All right, I want to hit him with my dude. So three, four, five. I want to hit him with two. So I think I'm just going to do this. And then I'll just go face. Face time. Such an interesting game. I would have still won this shit anyway. What's he, mono strength? I don't know. Rubble Devil, man, he's pretty strong. Four or five for three? Let's see what he's got here. Can he overcome? He does have something in his prism. Dragon flame. Five mana. He could potentially do something like that. But I'll still have Doom Shroom for lethal. So that'll do it. Okay. He's, he's holding off. But look what we drew. Three damage. Oh man, he's super strong. Super duper strong. Right in the nuts. <clears throat> That's for making me wait. Put it right in the nuts. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Maybe he'll re and we can start for real. White Flash. I wish it wouldn't do that, that whole White Flash after a game. So real quick, I guess we'll look at the Ancient Souls. Ah, whatever, we'll just play. We ain't gonna look at that shit. We gonna queue that shit. Queue it up, rematch. T-Subami! All right, we're gonna face T-Subami. Subam. Subam. 
otherwise known as T-Subami. Yeah, look, I got a lot of early cards, man. I got a lot of those early dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is not bad. We start with whip mine. What's he doing? Uh oh. He's coming with an aggro. It looks like. I think this is good though. That knight is pretty good against his squad. I think we yeah. We're, I'm gonna do this too, man. Because next turn we got three. So we're gonna run it out. Yeah, this card's interesting. I'm not. I wasn't 100 percent sold on him, but he's pretty good, man. Seems good to me. Surprising attack there too. All right, so this is a similar deck. So actually, all three of these cards are in my aggro deck. So that is funny. Makes me think I'm on to something. So Roots, and I get him back, or do I Trapper Keeper and get Trapper Keeper? Oh no, okay, uh, do I get Thanite back? Who do I get back? Who's the better dude to get back? Thanite? Get him those roots. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that was a good move or what, but this one <laughs> I just wanted to give his dudes roots. Get those damn dudes roots. Alright, he's gonna draw. That's nice. Ooh, dragon flame. Dragon's Wrath. The Wrath. And we got Thanite. Double Thanite. Thanks to Temple Watch. Is it worth it? I don't know. Okay, well, hey, that's not bad. Ooh, so we got Jar of Souls and Ancient's Rise here. All right, I think I'm gonna take care of his dude. Get his moth out of here. Man, I don't really wanna waste this Nature's Grasp just yet. Cause I'm gonna jar of souls and I want some cool dudes. Maybe I just incinerate. He's begging for it. He was begging for it at that four health. Now we'll jar of souls next turn and we'll get Trapper Keeper, Temple Watch, Whip. Oh no, so I can't do it. I need somebody to die before I do this. Okay, hold up. <clears throat> All right, so I guess I can't do it yet. Nah, I gotta wait. It's slow, baby. Slow and steady. Interesting. I'm starting to think, is my deck too... Too slow? Or too, uh... I don't know what the word is here, but, uh... I think I'm gonna jar of souls. 
Yeah, it's not bad. I, I get some good value here. Boom. That's pretty good. Got a full board. Is he gonna wipe? What's he got here? Eight, eight mana to wipe, and he can dust the ball. So this ain't good. Oh, there goes my whole squad, dude. My whole squad, but we got value. Damn, I got expensive ass dudes. Look at my squad. I got expensive dudes. So he's got his Dragon's Wrath coming next. Is it just to enemies? Yeah. I don't really want to play anything big that's going to get killed. Maybe I'll just do this. I would normally play a Cleo here, but I don't want to give up that death trigger. So I'll play this. Little whip mine. Just a little baby whip mine. Alright, so he's got five cards in hand. Ooh, there's a big dog. Oh, and he pumped his boy. Alright, who's my bottom three dead units here? Vanite, Charmling, and Trapper Keeper. Okay. Can we kill this dude? Alright, what do I do here? I could make this dude fight himself. Then he gets a bunch of 3-3s. Three or 3-1s. Three and then I can follow that up with a frigid blizzard. I just don't want to fall into this dragon's wrath. Um... I'll do it. Make him fight himself. Let him have his little party. You know, I could have gave all his dudes roots. That was that's an option. But look, he's still here. Unless he wants a dragon's wrath. Maybe. Maybe he does that. But look at our defense, dude. Our defense is freaking strong, dude. We got D, bro. Man, but that Dragon's Wrath, he's holding it. It's scaring me. I can't really put anybody out. All right, he's, he's waiting for it. Man, if he would just play that, dude. Play that already, will you? Oh, and he did something. What the hell? What did he do? Hail of Arrows. Oh, he made all my dudes. Pump. All right, I think we're just gonna do Reefus and Fun Guy here. Oh, there's one of our win cons. And uh, yeah, you know what? I'll take three. Why not? I'll take three. Come on, baby, use it. Use the Dragon's Wrath. I know you want to. Use it. Come a little closer there to Subami. Uh-oh, whoa, he's getting frisky now. He's getting
can't frisk it. I want to use my Ancient's Rise, but I can't because he's holding, dude. He's holding. He's holding. Okay. He can dust if he wants. Summons a mind spell with minus 10 cost. What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. Minus 11 cost, 10 cost. That means I get a free spell or something? That seems pretty fucking badass if that's the case. All right, we gotta drop this dude. Oh, did I mess up? Should I attack with my hero there? All right, I'm, if I play this, he's really gonna be tempted to Dragon's Bane and then hit me for eight. So instead of that, I think I play this and see what the deal is. Uh, I like my hand, but... Nah, nah, nah. I like my hand, dude. I like my hand. Oh no, he's gonna make me discard my Ancient's Rise. So I wonder if this dude summons a Seer's Mask every time. Cause is that the only zero? I think that's the only zero card. All right, Hoplite. He's in business. Hot plate's in business. Oh no, a soul taunt. You know what? I was gonna play an Arcadian mask and use that Sears mask. Okay. Well, that didn't work out. He's still holding strong. I could Frigid Blizzard and Arcane Ray, his dude. I think that's the way to go here. Oh, he has an attachment! Oh, you dirty dog. Okay. Huh. So he's gonna be able to dust my guys, man. This sucks. I gotta take eight? <laughs> Damn, I don't wanna take eight, but I guess I have to. Son of a gun. Force of dust. Come on, man. Use your card. Screwing me all up here. You're making me scared. You're scaring me. Okay, he's going to do three. He's going to dust my board. Oh, he's only got eight, seven mana. He can't do it. RIP! Salty! You salty! Oh, and that was it! He would have had a nasty play if he had one more mana. He would have had a sick play. But it wasn't enough, dude. Alright, here we go. Looking good for our Ancient Souls deck. Pretty nice. Pretty decent deck. We'll go look at the deck real quick. Ancient soul. So here we go. A little bit. Here's the curve. Three. You know, a nice little curve. I'm giving you the middle fingers. Pretty much what I'm doing right here. You got my two fingers, my middle finger, uh, my other two, and then my thumb right here. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you. That's what I say to my enemies right here. So look at that nice curve. And here's what the deck looks like. I could change it up a little bit, but this is just my first whatever attempt at a cool ass deck Bathsheba seems like it's good man my two big dogs my dragons I got undragon and casters chilling so I'll bring this up in future streams that's gonna be it for this video thank you all for watching man hope everybody has a great day catch you in the next one later